It's a huge pleasure to join you all this evening, for the first time as your proud Colonel-in-Chief. It's always a daunting task to take over from a former Colonel-in-Chief, but in my case, to step into the boots of my much-missed late father-in-law, the Duke of Edinburgh, is quite frankly terrifying. <laughs> I know it was the Duke of Edinburgh's role, a role that he cherished, and of which he was immensely proud, and it is one of the greatest honours of my life to have followed him into this illustrious regiment. So far, on my visits to the 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th and 5th battalions, you have very kindly refrained from frightening me. <laughs> Although I certainly wouldn't want to face any of you on a battlefield. You have, on the other hand, impressed and inspired me with your swift devotion to duty, your bold determination to be the best at whatever you turn your hands to, and of course your irrepressible rifle's sense of humour. I never cease to be amazed at how busy you all are. Throughout my short tenure as Colonel-in-Chief, riflemen have constantly been deployed overseas, often in harm's way. Those who are not abroad have served at home, joining the national effort against the pandemic. You have also shown remarkable fortitude in the face of change. 